Here you have the three friends of Daniel. Do you remember them? King Nebuchadnezzar promoted them to be officials in Babylon and gave them new Babylonian names. Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego. On a certain day they get an invitation from the king. They have to come to a certain place with the name Dura. There the king has made a huge image of gold. It's about 30 meters high and 3 meters wide. The king wants all the rulers and officials of Babylon to attend the dedication of the image. That's why Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego are invited as well. A herald loudly proclaims, Everybody is commanded. As soon as you hear musical instruments, you must fall down and worship the image of gold that the king has set up. Anyone who does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into a blazing furnace. No one wants to be thrown into a fire, right? As soon as the music plays, everyone bows down to the golden image. Everyone? No, do you see? Three men are still standing. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They know that you are only allowed to worship God and Him alone. Do you know that as well? Never forget it. Some men rush to the king and say, There are three men, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They don't serve your gods. They don't bow down for the image of gold. The king becomes angry. He says, bring these three men to me. Then he asks, is it true that you don't serve my gods and that you don't bow down before this image? I will give you one more chance. But when you don't do it, you will be thrown in the furnace. Do you think there is any god who can save you? The three men bravely reply, Your Majesty, our God, whom we serve, is able to save us from the blazing furnace and from your power. But even if he doesn't, we will not worship your God and we will not bow down to the God statue. They really trust and obey God. And you? King Nebuchadnezzar becomes furious. He orders his servants, heat the fire seven times hotter than usual. The strongest servants in his army tie the three friends of Daniel up and throw them, fully clothed, into the roaring furnace. The fire is so hot that it kills the servants of the king. And what about the friends of Daniel? Suddenly King Nebuchadnezzar leaps to his feet in amazement. Did we tie up three men and throw them into the fire? He asks. Men around him answer, Yes, we did, your majesty. Then why do I see four men walking around in the fire? The king asks. They are not tied up and they don't show a sign of being hurt, and the fourth one looks like a son of God. The king goes up to the door of the blazing furnace and calls out, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, servants of the supreme God, come out! The three friends of Daniel come out at once. All the officials gather to look at the three men. They are not harmed by the fire. Their hair and clothes are not burned. There is even no smell of smoke on them. The king says, Praise the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He has sent his angel and has rescued these men who serve and trust him. They have disobeyed my orders and have risked their lives 
rather than bow down and worship any god except their own. Yes, have you seen the power of God? Will you trust and obey him as well? He is so worthy that you love him. The king continues, I command that if anyone speaks without respect of the god of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, he will be killed and his house will be made a ruin. There is no other god who can rescue like this. Do you see that God is honored? Also Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego are honored. The king gives them promotion.